Welcome back to another fictionalhead.com quick tutorial. Today's tip is a super fast one and I only bring it up because I've recently seen a lot of students in my class run into this one. Um, and it's just a very simple thing that Photoshop can do that I guess a lot of people don't know. Um, and that is the fact that you can transform selections. So today I've just got this photo of a moon here and let's assume we want to clip it out or get it off its background in some way. Um, this tip is most obvious with something round or very specifically shaped. Uh, but I've seen a lot of people try to do this and hold shift and really like guess uh, on the size of the object. And it's like, eh, I came close, but I missed the edge there. Or try to start from the middle and expand out and try to get it. Um, and there's many different ways that people try to use these transform tools to like kind of grab a section, but they're always zooming way out and doing this or zooming way in and trying to like grab just the part they want. And it very much seems like a hit or miss thing because I see people, see people try and retry. Um, the quick little thing you can do in Photoshop is just very quickly draw a selection if you know you want a circle or a square or something. And then under the select menu, there's a transform option here. Um, the difference is that if you were to draw a selection and hit control T, you're actually like damaging the data and starting to move it. So maybe that's why people get confused. Uh, but if you just do transform selection, it lets you adjust your selection prior to making any edits. And this way you can kind of just move in and get a little more granular with what is being selected prior to doing anything to the data. So it works wonders if you're trying to very precisely select a circle or maybe you're trying to crop the edge of something rectangular and you want to make sure you're right at the point where um, that object is beginning. Uh, instead of, you know, banging your head like this, trying to crop right down and then you zoom in, you're like, oh, I was a little bit off. So now if I go down here, now I'm off up here and I've got to add more to my selection. Just forget all that. You can very easily just do transform selection and then zoom in like you normally would and make all of your fine tune adjustments. Then once you've hit okay, now if you start manipulating that data, you've only got the part that you want. So seems kind of rudimentary, but like I said, a lot of people ignore the fact that it's there and it'll save you a lot of time if you work it into your workflow. So that's the tip. If you found it helpful, please let me know by hitting the like button. If you want more of these types of tutorials, feel free to subscribe or hit the little bell icon to stay notified. As always, if you have questions or topics you'd like me to cover, just let me know in the comments. See you next time.